I say, it's so I'm down here in the basement doing some green screen, and um, guess what? I just passed my first anniversary of my YouTube channel. That's, that's quite a milestone for me. Um, that wasn't that long ago, and uh, we moved to a house, and we didn't want Service was no good there, so we connected up with YouTube and a few other channels on the internet, and we've never looked back. Remember some of the first channels that I watched on YouTube were things like uh, Gold Rush. Regular TV, and they put it on there, so it was grainy, and uh, it wasn't very good, but it was... Uh, it kind of stirred me off watching YouTube. And then my kid, Ryan, who's, uh, who's 11, going on 16, as I always say, <laughs> he got me into watching um, uh, something called Trainer Tips. Um, he introduced me to the game of Pokemon Go when it uh, started up. So we went around town, we did some Pokemon, and then, of course, we had to go see Trainer Tips to see what the latest scoop was on how to catch some of those creatures. So, mm -hmm. We looked online to, to check uh, on the YouTube channel. But since then, I have met so many people and, and seen so many channels. It's kind of hard to, um, when I look back, it's hard to put in the words where I, where I found some of these channels from. But I wanted to share with you uh, a lineage of some channels. Um, and get to the point where I'm going to have to do a live stream here today and show you something that I received in the mail from from a, a contributor, a channel. Uh, Ooh. What's the word? What's the word? Subscriber. <laughs> Co-subscriber. He subscribed to me and I'm sub subscribed to him. But the beginning of this chain, at least to this day today, um, was, of course, um, if I'm thinking back now, I started watching... A show by the name of um, Steve Wallace. <laughs> Camping with Steve. And um, at the beginning of last time, he puts out a camping show every Thursday. So I don't even neighbor. know how I got introduced to that channel. But Steve, I don't know, some of you might know Steve Wallace. He uh, does these stealth camping trips. He's from around uh, Edmonton in Alberta. And he has grown his channel now to where he's getting close to about 500,000 subscribers. Are you serious? Um, and I think he's been on YouTube for uh, many, many years. And just in the last year or two, got some traction. And his channel has taken off. So that's the original channel I started watching in this chain. From his channel, uh, maybe a year, year and a half ago, there was a guy by the name of Joe Lawrence, who is, uh, again, an Alberta boy. And his channel is Joe Lawrence Channel, oddly enough. But Joe is um, a father of... He's younger than... And um, how he connected to Steve Wallace was that on Steve's channel. Uh, and the song is called Come With Me. Oh, the, oh that's and, uh, a good one. Kind of a um, camping anthem, if you would. And um, enjoyed uh, that song so much when we, we saw a release uh, of Joe's song on Steve Wallace's channel. And so I, saw I went that over one to too. Steve's. Uh, sorry, I went over to Joe's channel and checked him out and uh, really started to enjoy his music and what he was doing on his channel. So, and from Joe's channel, just uh, going through, maybe leaving comments on his channel, I was introduced to a guy by the name of Richard Cox. And um, I've got a package upstairs that I got from Richard Cox. So we're going to conclude this introduction with an opening of this parcel I received from Richard Cox. Open but I want to tell you a little bit now. about Richard Don't wait any first. Longer. Uh, Richard, I've gotten enough conversing with him uh, through the chat. 
Richard is a very talented. wrote a song for Richard's channel. It's called The Weaver. And in a nutshell, that describes what Richard is. Richard is a weaver. He's an artist. He's a very talented, uh, gifted artist. Um, he, um, if you go through his work um, on his channel, you'll see other yeah, references to a lot of his work that he's done in his art career. He actually had an art exhibit um, at the SIU Art Museum in Carbondale, Illinois, back in 2020. Are you serious? And you can That's go and look at his channel, and look at his artwork. Uh, he went through there and um, he talks about some of his works as they're hanging on the wall there in the museum. So that's pretty interesting stuff. And um, Richard also, um, as he was, um, this is back in the 80s, I think, and as he was developing his own art styles, he had the opportunity to interview and um, record some quite famous American folk artists, one by the name of R.A. Miller. Um, this guy was a, a self-taught artist. He developed glaucoma and was basically blind after 65. And 65, at the age of 65, he started making whirly gigs and painting them. And, uh, and uh, as the story goes, um, I read his uh, small biography on the internet. But as the story goes, this gentleman, uh, his neighbors were all laughing at him and saying, who'd want all that junk? But currently there's a museum in Texas that has a lot of this guy's artwork, folk art, they call it, uh, in the museum in Texas. And it's quite an interesting story, but you can go and you can see an interview that Richard did with him, raw footage of an interview, and uh, it's really quite fascinating. And another um, artist that Richard interviewed uh, is quite a famous uh, American artist as well. And if I can find, it's Finster is his name. He looks a little like George Bush. If I can find it here on Richard's channel, Howard Finster. And again, Richard had the opportunity of going and interviewing this uh, very famous uh, folk artist, uh, American folk artist in his home. And uh, it's quite fascinating. Uh, very, very uh, limited footage, I guess you want to say. Put it on his channel as the first time I've ever seen, so it's pretty interesting footage. It's raw well, and it's... Thank um, you for telling me. I'm going uh, to have to check it out. It's not polished at all. It's not like a documentary series for, for uh, Amazon or anything like that. It's raw footage. Richard going and interviewing these guys on his, whatever equipment he had back in the 80s. So it's pretty fascinating. But he's uh, always doing something, um, either weaving or um, making um, pieces of art from fabric or mixed, uh, mixed medium. Uh, he's a pretty, pretty interesting guy. So, so again, that's about it for now. After this introduction, I have an unboxing uh, of what Richard sent to me. Um, and the reason I've got this coming from Richard was I, um, I watched one of his live streams and he was gracious enough to give everybody who came to that live stream uh, a piece of art that he made. And so I'm really excited to open it up and see what it is. I've got an idea, uh, something that we can hang on the wall here and... Uh, and look at it every day and dig into it. So without any further ado. No, how come that's not too clear? Hey, we're live here, folks. We're uh, gonna do an unboxing here now. Um, let's see here. Can we get this going right? Alright, let's play a little intro. Hey, we're all gonna be laughter here. smiles and tears and frowns. Still we still we and all bang this drum. We got multiple days in the one here. Okay, that didn't work. Still and tears 
in front. That didn't work. Okay, we're gonna cancel that. How come it's not focused, Ryan? There we go. Okay, guys, that was the intro. We had some technical difficulties. We wanted to play into this part of the video by playing the weaver, but we've got some issues going on here. So we're going to get right to the box open. He is. Here's the package we got from Richard. Oh, two year limited warranty. And Ryan's my official box opener on everything, so. We're going to get him to open it up and see what it is. Pretty excited about this. We had it, had it sitting in the house for quite a while and uh, didn't know how to really do it justice. Uh, I wanted to um, do some sort of video and highlight Richard's channel, and I hope I I did it some sort of justice. Oh, Ryan's reaching for the knife here. Um, but we had to get it opened up here because um, I've just been sitting around too long, so... I spent quite a bit of time there yesterday doing that little intro. And then we're just going to do this live. Be careful with that knife there, buddy. Yep. All right. I know knife safety. Well, can't you just pull it apart? Because I don't want you to scratch anything with that knife. This is a work of art. Yeah, open the other side, dude. You got it? Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now that, I don't think you need any any knife on that. Just kind of tear the paper a bit. Slide it out of there. Again, folks, if you're, if you're joining us on this, Richard Cox sent me this. Whoa, look at that. I watched his channel a while back and he had a, a draw for some of these items that he made. So here we go. Look at this. It's not look awesome. I got a scarf. That's the. Wow. That looks fantastic. Got look at all those colors. It has a Obey, it says, not obey three Y. Mm. Obey. Love. You got a face. Well, that's cool. Look at that. We got this manifesto. What's this one? Manifesto. Manifesto. Oh, that just explains uh, the stickers. All right. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Oh wow. Let's see that. Hold it up a bit. Look at that. That's awesome. That is gorgeous. Okay. Unbelievable. Look at that. That is nice. That is. Looks like oil on canvas. Yeah. Or maybe not oil. Acrylic on canvas. Yeah. That's it's beautiful, nice. Richard. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for this. Look at the colors. Look at the design. That is amazing. We got to think of a place where you can hang that now. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Here's the signature. Signed by Richard Cox, right there. This is gonna be awesome hanging at our house. Looks yeah. like the wire is this way, so this is the way it's gonna be going. It's right like well, that's it for the unboxing, Richard. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. I am uh, on this and it's going to be taking a prominent place in our household so we can look at it every day. With that done now, we bid you all a great weekend. Richard, you have an awesome weekend, eh? Appreciate it, my friend. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye. Bye for now. See you, Richard. It is really awesome. We'll I'll take a picture of it and we'll show you where we decide to hang. Hang it up. Okay, have a great weekend, everybody. Bye for now. How do you hang this up, Ryan? There we close it. Oh, 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 man. Careful.